All right, good morning, uh, actually good evening. Having some uh, best damn root beer. It's good, it's, uh, it's got the, ooh, that's when it's real good. It's got, um, it's got a really good um, beginning and middle flavor. It's more of the um, aftertaste, which is not quite like root beer, but being alcoholic, it's, it's fine. Depending on how you drink it, if you drink it fast, Um, you don't notice it. I got my selfie stick inside of a planter. Um, thinking of doing a knife review because I just ordered this knife. And as a bonus, a beard oil review. And there's a, a thing about the beard oil because I said I wasn't going to buy any beard oil because um, I have a make it your own beard oil tutorial a couple videos ago. Uh, anyways, here's my Kaiser knife. I won that on Instagram. It's like a two and a half inch blade. It's really beefy, although it's really sharp. Um, and it flips like a dream. Uh, but this one from, let's see, it's called what, Knife Center, is also a Kaiser. It's a Chinese brand. Um, I'll, I'll give this knife review as a uh, as a first time knife buyer um, this is really my first um, serious knife although it's not a serious knife at all it's kind of a uh, I guess you'd call it it's probably a low end although it's not it's better than something you'd get at Walmart so um, I pre-cut it I haven't looked at it um, it's by this maker and here's a, a funny story I had seen this uh, this knife, uh, Knife Center, or the other knife um, place you can go, what is it called, Blade something maybe? Um, and I saw it, and there's like three versions, there's a, um, this one has like a, it's, what is it called, G10, I believe? Kind of like a plastic, um, but it's actually considered really nice, um, in, in a good quality. But they have a $80 version, which is their small one, and they have a $86, which is um, bigger. So the the one I got is the $80, so it's a three inch. Uh, actually, it's 3.1, and in Michigan, where I'm from, you can't go past the three and be legal. Um, I'll just tell them I didn't know. Um, and then you have the $86 one which is a 3.65 something like that and then you have the three inch one done with titanium sides or they call them scales uh, the way I got into knives is um, my wife's cousin liked knives or likes knives so um, he has this thing where it was a flipper years ago and I was like holy crap is that fun and I haven't held one since um, but they're almost, they feel like switchblades, which are illegal. Oh, the, uh, and then you have the other one. It's just like the three inch, but it's, um, yeah, the titanium scales, and that's like 170. Um, so then anyways, I saw these titanium ones. Um, it's like the titanium color, kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a, a blade color. Um, but they were like done in like a root beer, root beer. color with holes in it so you could actually see the blade and when you open it up you could see through it oh maybe at least through one side which um, you know makes it lighter it just makes it pretty cool I was like wow somebody took the $170 knife and did a custom job to it because there's there's people that do that um, come to find out that one that I thought was a custom job maybe like somebody paid an extra fifty to a hundred dollars more no those ones with the holes are from the maker um, see this is a Kaiser brand but they've been using American uh, it's a Chinese blade but they've been using American um, designers to make their designs and uh, they based the cheap version that they sell on the website off of the custom ones that this guy makes so the guy makes them for like seven eight nine hundred dollars with the holes in them and the brown color 
Um, and they're not much more different than the ones you could get for $170. So I was thinking, I'm like, wow, maybe that guy could like customize mine, but no. He makes his for like $900, $800, $700, and um, if you wanted to get something for under $200, you'd have to buy his, what he made. So anyways, let's take a quick look. Wow, it's bigger than I thought. I thought it was like going to be like that. Actually, I kind of thought it was going to be similar to that. Doesn't even look like the right one. Wow. Doesn't even look like the right one. But yeah, wow. It's technically bigger than legal. Uh, so what makes this good is, oh, ripping the box. I don't know why it would matter. Um, is the metal is considered a really nice metal. Well, if I had to tell you, like, my dad would be like, how much did you pay? I never like to tell him. So, um, it's got this G10, it's really grippy. It's got all this color in it. It's got the sides that are sculpted. Um, just feels grippy. You know what, I actually ordered black and they sent me green. Okay, the black one, I liked the green, but I thought, you know, I'd try black. The black one had a color here, like a blue. Um, this, the designer's called Ray Laconico. Um, this is a flipper. So you just push on this and it should fire out. And uh, they get better as you use them, you break them in. Um, so what makes this nice is it's got a lock inside, so you can just do it with one hand and put it put it back down and flip it with one hand. Um, a good knife shouldn't wiggle this way and it doesn't. It shouldn't wiggle up and down and it doesn't. Um, how you hold it, grab it in your hand. Uh, this is called a drop point because the point drops. Wow, it's really sharp. I don't know if it would cut hair. No. Maybe it would tear through pretty, tear through paper. I don't know if it tears through. Hmm. Um, yeah, I wanted the flipper, the flipper kind. But they uh, they drilled holes inside to skeletonize this, make it a little bit lighter. Um, this pocket clip, everyone says, is really ugly, especially on the one that has the titanium. But they're considered the most functional. Um, yeah, it's cool. Here's the two side by side. You line them up usually end to end. Um, One-handed. You can put some wrist action into it, I guess. But a really good knife, you shouldn't need wrist. Um, you should just fire up. So you got the two together. This one looks a lot beefier, which is nice because you get a beefy knife without going past that three inches. Um, yeah, I would never have to want to use this on anybody, um, which, you know, you wouldn't even want it on you as a temptation. Uh, I'm an old school guy. If you can't beat them up with your, with your arms, then, uh, then I don't know. What's the point? Uh, yeah, so quality materials, quality um, blade, you can sharpen this thing. Uh, it keeps its edge really well. Um, the fact that it, the rusting on it, uh, I think it's the fact that you can sharpen it and then it'll stay sharp. Quality really matters. How does it line up? Which, yeah, it looks like it lines up pretty well. Let's see, can I make that? I don't know. Pull it. I'm using the front of my camera today. So it's nice and even, which means, oh yeah, and this thing runs on ball bearings, which is supposed to make it really fast. It's kind of cool. You can pull it out from your pocket, launch it with one hand. Um, I guess there's two ways to launch it. One is like pushing in and one is pushing down. So this thing's supposed to fire out. Oh, I don't know, but Okay, and then the one thing is I make my own beard oil, uh, but this was pretty intriguing. The oil 
uh, and I don't know, it feels big for one ounce, um, and shipping was $10. Then I get this thing and it's $4.74. He spent half of the price. So I paid him 10 and then he spent five just to get it to me. So he only made um, $5 on this and the bottle always costs a dollar or two. So profits are, uh, are pretty low there. Let's see, I guess I'll need a knife. Um, this one's called Bourbon Barrel. And I guess it's the barrel, so you have to think of like a, a oak cask, an oak barrel, with maybe some kind of a bourbony smell to it. I don't know, what would that smell like? This is a pretty nice bottle. Let's see. Oh, cool, it's a dripper. I don't know why I wasn't thinking it was. And it is a, so it's called, it's by Deep Roots Beard Oil Company, Bourbon Barrel, All Natural Beard Oil. Um, ingredients, vanilla, bourbon, sandalwood, cedarwood, ganero wood, mm, that's your smells. And then you got grapeseed, avocado, coconut, almond, jojoba, or jojoba, and argan oils. Uh, it comes with the top all. It doesn't look like it's been tampered with. And then let me take a really quick smell so I can tell you if it smells good. I'm guessing it will smell good. Um, I guess the reason I bought it is I was just curious what it would smell like. Um, you know, if I was at a store, I'd smell it and I'd probably go, okay, I don't need to buy it. The fact that it's on the internet and I'm just like, what does that smell like? Very um, mild. The smell is very, very, well, that is a very different looking um, tip to it. It's very small. It really tapers down to a smaller than a drop. And you can't see it. Um, let's see. Put it under my nostrils. It's just a really light smell. My mustache is coming in nice too. I had it all waxed up yesterday. Went to see a, a concert from a band that everybody else there knew that knew of them and called the Avit Brothers. Avit Brothers. Um, bluegrass. They played the banjo. They played violin, uh, cello, bass. I don't know what you call them all guitar, acoustic guitar. It was awesome. Um, yeah, I like their, their liking their music for hearing it for the first time. Really good. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's that. These videos get long quick, so I'll just cut it off. Uh, I'll be making another video shortly. I got ice cream on me, so I can't ever eat ice cream coming without getting one drop. Uh, talk to you guys later. Any comments, put them down below. Subscribe, like the video. I never get very many of those, but um, if you liked what you hear, maybe I'll keep making videos.